and some. Tell them not to be naughty or I'll take a six of them. Who is it? Sammy Wolf. It's me. Come home. And who may you be? Thou knows ruddy really right who I may be. I want a word with you. Come along now. We'll have a little talk. What is it, Sam Love? It's, it's not, Molly. Sam Love. Wait here. Uh, it's a fair warm night. I think I'll get my jacket and go for a stroll, Molly. Ah, yeah, it'll do you good, Sam. You're staying out too much lately. Oh, no. Oh, it does a man good to get out from time to time. It freezes him like. Happen it does. Why don't you go down to pub for a bit? Oh, no, Molly. I don't feel the need of it. I, I don't know what's come over you lately, Sam. You don't seem like the same man. Well, I'm off. So long, Molly. It's a fair wonder. You Judas. Why? What's wrong, Sam? What's wrong? You've done me out of my house and home. That's what's wrong. I'm a homeless wanderer. That's what's wrong, and it's all you're doing. Now, Lord, uh, how can you say that? It was you wanted to go, see, world. Well, I've seen it, and I want to come home. Hold on, uh, Sam. Have you puzzled out what's to be done? I've puzzled it out right enough. It's your turn to op it. You go have a look at them ruddy pyramids. I'll stay here with Molly. I'm no traveller, Sam. I'm family, hey, man. Now, look here, Sammy. Well, I'm hungry. I've not had my tea. I'm in no mood for argument. Now, I want to sit quiet by my wife at fire. So, up it before I black your eye. You're the traveller. Up it, you. Up it, I said, or there'll be trouble. I've not more to say to thee. I'm going in. Oh, no, thou's not. Let go of me, call. I'm Sam. going in. No, thou's not. Now, look no, here, man. No, no, this no, might, no, this no, no. I'm Molly. Quick. Into our house, both of you. Quick, before anyone sees you. Now, then, what's going on? Which of you is Sam Small and who's t'other? I am. I am. The truth of it is, Molly, we're both Sam Small. What kind of shenanigan and jiggery pokery is this? Well, it is no jiggery pokery, it's schizophrenia. Ah, I... thank you to mind your language, Sam Small. Molly, my psyche has been split in two. I had a bad turn one night, and now there's me. But there's also him. How long has this been going on? Since Michaelmas last. Gee, that's almost six months. Aye, seems longer. Well, which of you has been here with me all that time? It's me been here, Molly. He's been off seeing world. Ah, the scallywag. Now I know which is Sam Small. So thou would go off gallivanting around world and leave thy true wife with total stranger. Ah, oh, no, no, Molly, no, no, Molly. Mo haven't I been a good husband to you? Haven't I stayed by your side both in illness and in health? Ah, you have that. You've been that good. Good, I thought there was something wrong. I thought you were poorly. Aha. Uh -huh. All the same, Sam Small. It was the happiest time of my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it was too good to be true. Molly. Molly, does that mean that? Does that mean <coughs> I've really been happier with this, this Judas than with me? Judas thyself. Answer me, Molly. Because if it's true, I'll go and you'll never see me more. I see. Well, there's not much for a chap to say when he finds out he's failed. To be a poor sort of man that stands in the way of his wife's happiness. So, goodbye, Molly. Good luck, lass. Hold on. Come back, you loon. I'll not have you go like that. You must choose between us. Why, you must. No fear. It would be big of me if I didn't. I'll not be wife to both of you, that's sure. Now, so put on your hat. Your, your hats, I mean, and, and off you go, the both of you. The both of us? Yes, you doubled yourself without my help. You can sort yourselves out same way. Off you go now. And don't come back here till there's but one. You'd better make honest woman of me, Sam Small, if you know what's good for you. Hey. Yeah. 
years where we first met. I... Just six months ago to the day. Well, have you thought of aught? I have not. <laughs> and you with a million ideas. Now look here, Samuel, I'm fair sick to death of thee. One more peep out of you and I'll give you a thick lip. You're not threatening me. Threatening you? Why, man, for two pins, I'd oh, knock you. Well, thou hast murder in thy arm. That's ruddy right I have. There's not room in this world for the two of us. So put up thy dukes and stand up like a Yorkshireman. For I, I mean to do thee in this no, night. No, Sam, I'm not for brawling. Oh, you're not? Then I'll sweeten you up to it. Here. Boom! Oh, do you like that now? <laughs> Come on, put them away. Oh! Good. All right. Here I come. Again. Now, Molly. He, he's not drunk, ma'am. Why, he's not odd, but he's usual. I think you're right. He's not drunk, but he's summit. Uh, it was nothing. It was Lampo's cracked him. Eh, uh, well, we'll be leaving you now, ma'am. Uh, he's all right. Uh, he is. Well, good night, ma'am. Uh, good night, ma'am. Good night, the both of you, and thank you for fetching him home. Oh, uh, and it's time. Do start forgive me, Molly. As I've been forgiving thee all thy life, it's not likely I'd stop now. What have you been up to? Eh, Lassa. Uh, that we'll never know. Happen we won't. But it's going to be better now, Molly. I'm no longer of two minds. Mm -hmm. My schizophrenia is over and I'm off to be more like Samuel. He's really my better half. Nay, thou's got no but one better half and that's me. Upsy daisy. Up you come to bed. I. Uh, I. That Hawaii lass. What Hawaii is that? That Hawaii. Yeah, but by gum, there's no place like home. Ah. That was Sam Small's Better Half, adapted by Maurice Valenci from a story by Eric Knight. You saw Hume Cronin as the original Sam, 
and Ray Walston as his schizophrenic half, and Jessica Tandy as his better half. <laughs> Thank you.